back to another LEGO custom review. Today we're looking at stuff from Lock and Key, so if you haven't seen the show yet, make sure to check that out before you watch this video, but then make sure to come right back. So, let's look at the minifigures. So first up, we have Tyler Locke. So I used a uh, Newt's Commander face for him. It looks a little bit older, but it's the best I could have. I used a green baseball cap piece so he could um, have that cap that he had in the books. He has a red sweater on, um, some blue jeans, and I gave him the music box key. Now they aren't like very, you know, like specially molded keys because I really only have the gold ones. But um, if you look at his back, you can see some more like wrinkles and you can see the back of his head, but that's about it for this minifigure. Next up we have Kinsey Lock. So Kinsey uses the black canary um, torso and legs, which is kind of like a gothic kind of thing. She has the head key because she used that a lot in the show. She also has black canary's um, yellow blonde hair off to the side. I couldn't really find any with like hair color in it. I didn't really want to use Sharpie but she has a smiling expression and a little bit of an angry expression. Next up we have Bodhi Locke. So Bodhi has the Peter Parker shirt, which has the Spider-Man suit underneath, but I kind of just meant that for, to be a Spider-Man shirt just because he kind of likes superheroes and comics and stuff like that. He has dark blue, navy blue um, short legs. He has a hood on the back printing. He has some nice kind of light brown, caramely, spiky hair and a uh, key. Um, and he has a smiling expression and a terrified expression. Next up we have Nina Locke. So Nina uses the bangs hair piece that's rubbery in light orange. She has a wine bottle and a red mug. I didn't have any in blue so that kind of represents the mug that she breaks. Um, she uses the Ancient One's torso and legs with that nice purple and gold design. It kind of makes it look like she's not too lazy, but it's also, you know, kind of casual too. She has a happy expression and an angry expression. If Rufus Whedon. So he has that Robin, um, the Robin glasses hair combo. He also has the red chicken kind of sweater. He has some dark green legs, so it's regular legs because he's pretty tall in the show. And he has an action figure. That's actually the Ant-Man um, micro figure, but it kind of represents Mayhemi. He has kind of like a just dazed expression with buck teeth. And he also has a little bit of a worried expression. Next up we have Sam Lesser. So Sam has the fire key as you can see which has some trans orange elements to make it look like it is flaming. He also has a revolver piece. Um, he uses dark brown kind of like a little bit of a wavy hair. He has, um, he's using Draco's face um, but he has like the thug outfit with like you can see some striped shirt, a leather jacket, a big belt, and tan legs. He has a little bit of an angry expression and a furious expression. This is Dodge, the female version. She is using the Fantastic Beasts, I'm forgetting the minifigure's name, dress with that new um, nice skirt piece. Um, she is using Barbara Gordon's face and she's using Aquaman's hair piece, which is kind of like a little bit wet and curly. So she has a happy expression and an angry expression. Next up, we have Lucas Dodge Carvaggio. He has the same torso and skirt piece as the female Dodge, except he has a, a golden key, some black kind of the dog trainer hair, and a, a very stern expression. He only has one expression, but that key is kind of meant to be the identity key, which you can see that he's changing from the male to female Dodge. Next up, we have Rendell Locke. So he is currently cremated and put in a red jar. So it's just a red um, cylinder piece and a kind of gold swirly piece on top. I have three different things I'm going to be showing you today. After the minifigures, I guess that's four. But I have some key accessories. Uh, get it. Um, so uh, uh, how to build a key and my mock of the wall house. I have three key accessories. I have the shadow crown, which I guess it's another minifigure. It's just a plain black head, torso, and the Dementor's ghost legs. Um, it also has that nice crown piece and also a music box. So I didn't have a music thing in brown, so I just used this one from The Simpsons House, which is a, a stickered double cheese slope. I have a two by two brown brick and a one by two jumper, where if you take a key, I guess you can kind of like, you know, stick that in there. Um, so that kind of works as that. I can't really open because then it would have to be too big, but blah, 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 blah. 
<laughs> Next up we have the mirror. So this is the mirror of Erised, except for um, I changed it so it has um, two uh, gold one by one cheese slopes on top instead of the sticker piece. I also used some putty and tin foil on there to make it so it's kind of like rippling like it was in the show but if you see it, it turned around you can like see all the stickering on there so that's about it for the accessories next up we have my mop of the well house so i didn't really have enough pieces to make a full-on key house just because that's like huge <laughs> so um basically um if you look at the outside there is a jail door two pillars um there's a little lock there for the well house key a golden dome on top, some nice things with like a uh, accessory hole, like a spirally unicorn piece and, and silver. On the left we have, um, yeah, on the left we have a little thing that holds an axe and a rake so that um, Rufus can do all of our dirty work. <laughs> but this is all kind of like a octagonal, octagonal, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Anyway, let's look at the inside. Next up, let's take a look inside. So this is inside the well house. Not a ton going on, but we have a little well that you can see here with some kind of uh, tiled over. Um, I, this isn't supposed. That's why it's not supposed to happen. Um, but I might like make that so it's like jumpers that's maybe in my you know tile it over a little bit. But yeah, you can kind of like you know have. Bodhi talk to lit Mrs. Well Lady in there. So that's about it for this mock. Now I'm going to show you how to make this key. What you're going to need for this build is you're going to need 16 2x2 yellow. You're going to need two 2x4 um, two yellow bricks. You're going to need two you're gonna need two one by one indented outward facing studs, two one by one, uh, one by two, I mean, uh, bricks, one two by four um, plate, uh, and three of these one by two plates. Okay, first things first, you're gonna take two of your two by two bricks and stack them on top of each other like that. Then you're gonna take one of your one by two bricks and both of your one by one indented outward facing studs. You're going to take your other um, oh, one by two uh, little, little, little thing and you're gonna put this on like that so it's not, you know, like middle or whatever. And then you're gonna take one of your, um, you're gonna stack two of your one by two plates on top of each other and then one on the bottom just like that. Then you're gonna put it on like that. Then you're gonna stack up all of these um, bricks. Make sure to have four of them left over. Um, next, you're gonna take one of your two by four bricks like that, and then you're gonna stack your two 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 by twos right like that, so it's like a times two kind of thing. You're gonna put that off the edge to kind of make a curved look, and then put that on the top. That's about it for this key. Um, I hope it's useful to you, and remember, you can do it in any color you want. That's about it for this video, but um, make sure to tune in because I'm probably going to make more key accessories and more minifigures for lock and key. So thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. Don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs> And remember, me and Harper are doing a slow mo. Um, video. So if you have any ideas to see anything in slow mo, make sure to comment that down below. Thanks. I'll see you again next time.